Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP switch and t-shoot video practice exam for you today on some full metal authentication. I'm going to show you a practice exam question on the board here in just a moment. And not really tricky, but definitely a detail you want to watch for real world networking as well as your Cisco switch and t-shoot exams for the CCNP. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In this list, which of these is the authenticator? Which of these is the supplicant? and which is the authentication server when you are configuring .1x authentication. A, a .1x enabled PC. B, a PC with no .1x because you don't need to put that on the PC. C, a .1x enabled switch. D, the radius server. E, a switch with no .1x because you don't need it running on the switch. Now, if you want to pause the video and think about your answer, please do so now because we're going to jump right into the answers. The authenticator device is actually the dot enabled switch, excuse me, the dot one X enabled switch, which is easier to say than configure apparently. That is our authenticator. Now, the supplicant is the PC, and we have to have P, a dot one X running on that PC. And that's a little bit of a tricky detail you need to remember because so often in Cisco networking, working on the switch, working on a router, working on the server, etc. We really don't go to the PC very often, do we? So it's really easy to overlook that part on an exam question or in the real world. But again, you've got to have a .1x enabled PC and that is your supplicant. So we've got our supplicant, we've got our authenticator, and then our authentication server is going to be the radius server. So the big details here beyond the correct answer to the question, of course, that you need to remember is that you've got to have dot one X running on both the switch, which is your authenticator and the supplicant, which is your dot one X enabled PC. Thanks so much for taking today's video practice exam. And I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.